chapter 1 we will learn how to install Java and Eclipse IDE. To install Java you need to install something called the Java Development Kit JDK. It will install the compiler, virtual machine and related files. Now you can write Java programs in notepad but it will be very difficult to program. You need to remember syntax etc and if there are any issues you need to know like how to go catch those issues so the industry uses a free tool like Eclipse and NetBeans etc we will use Eclipse and we'll take a look at it very soon so we need to install the Java development kit and Eclipse IDE so to install Java go to Google and type in Java JDK download so it will take you to like a site called Java SE downloads or something click on it now here you can see that you can go to the latest version that is Java standard edition 7 you can see that this is the JDK and this is the Java runtime environment if you install JDK it will install JRE2 so you don't have to worry about it so just click on download here for the JDK once you click on download it will tell you like it will ask you what kind of operating system do you have you accept the license agreement and then you decide whether you have a 64 bit or a 32 bit if you have a 32 bit operating system then you select this if you have a 62 if you have a 64 bit select this to find out what kind of operating system you have you can right click on my computer or if you have windows 7 you can right click here on this computer click on properties and here you can see that the system type is 64 bit if you have XP or Vista just right click on my computer and click on properties you'll be able to see what uh, how many bits is your operating system now I have like a 64 bit operating system Windows 64 bit so here I'm going to click on this and then save this particular file now after saving your file double click on the file and open it this is likely to take some time the wizard is pretty simple and straightforward you can just click next go through everything it will install it in program files Java JDK 1.7 if you want to change it you can change it but I suggest you leave it as it is click next so here you can see that the development kit has been successfully installed now once you have installed the Java development kit you can install the Eclipse IDE that is the integrated development environment which will make writing your Java programs easy so in Google you can search for Eclipse IDE and then it will take you to this particular website you can go to downloads and over here you can download either like Eclipse IDE for Java developers or you can download Eclipse IDE for Java Enterprise Edition developers the difference between these two are like basically if you are going to learn about Hibernate if you are going to learn about JSP servlets and Spring and all those things then it is better you go for this Eclipse IDE for Java Enterprise Edition developers but if you are going to pretty much stick with Java basic Java then Eclipse IDE for Java developers is more than enough or you can download the classic Eclipse also so you can either download the 32 bit or the 64 bit so once you download the 64 bit or 32 bit Eclipse Java Enterprise Edition all you have to do is right click extract files you can install WinRAR to extract files and then just click on OK or you can extract it anywhere you can extract it anywhere it's just a direct extraction so in my case I have extracted to this Eclipse folder in C drive all you have to do is come here create a shortcut for this Eclipse create a shortcut and paste it to your desktop right click create shortcut once you have the shortcut here you can pull this to your desktop you can pull this to your desktop or you can cut and paste it to your desktop or if you want you can leave it here itself and then you can double click on this Eclipse to start Eclipse 